Okay, question 22. Um, it's a two part question. Well, it's actually three parts, but it's going to be two parts on my um, video. So we've got the first page, which is to do with this travel graph. We've got question A and B. And you've got this, the uh, second page, which is talking about another travel graph and comparing it to the first one. So we'll come across that in a bit. Okay, so. Question A, writes down the distance from Holly's home to school. So this is this is all about a journey from the Holly takes on Monday um, from her home to school. So starts off at home, which is zero kilometers from home at zero time, then gets to school um, after 30 minutes. So write down the distance from Holly's school to home. So how far away is the school from home? Well, it's three kilometers. So just reading that off the graph. Um, she stops at her friend's house on the way, that's one kilometre away from home. Write down how long Holly stopped from her friend's house. So she started, uh, well, she stopped at uh, 10 minutes and then started again at, at 15 minutes because this is where she wasn't travelling anywhere because she's not going up or down. So she's stationary for five minutes between 10 and 15. Okay, so that sounds fairly straightforward. Let's have a look at part C. Holly took less time to get to school on Tuesday than on Monday. How many minutes less? So on Monday, on Tuesday, she arrives here, which is 12 minutes. And on Monday, if you remember, she took 30 minutes. So 30, I think that's not 30, that's 13. Um, 30, take away 12, gives us 18 minutes. So. It didn't stop and she was much quicker and it only took her 18 minutes. Okay, um, that's worth two marks. There's one method mark there for the calculation and one for the answer.